walk on the part two. First thing we want to do is uh, is discuss some um, engraving bits. Now uh, this is an engraving kit that you can buy. I get these at uh, at Lowe's. And it comes with uh, four um, stone bits, but it also comes with five engraving bits, which you'll see here. Now, an engraving bit, pull one out here. Now, an engraving bit has a very small burr here at the top. And it does quite a good job at um, making fine lines and different things for that. So this is what we'll need next. Okay, on the turtle, what we want to do now is we want to recess his legs and his head. And to make crisp, clean lines, we want to go ahead and engrave this line here, like I've done these two. And I'll demonstrate on the last one here. Okay, now we're going back to our um, our heavier bit. This this bit is kind of aggressive, but not not as aggressive as uh, as this one is. And what we're going to do is come up here on the line here, and we're going to take this down. What I'm going to do is try to round this edge here and taper it down all at the same time. Remember to always keep your, keep your bit moving because if you stay in one place it's going to dig right into it. So when you're moving it, constantly be moving. Don't let it go in one space. You want to constantly be moving. Now these bits here, they'll tear a burr right out of it. All right, that one's that one's getting pretty close. Yeah, you want to kind of taper these down. See how this spin, how far it comes down here? You want to taper this down so it gives it that bevel, like he's swimming. Okay, that looks pretty good.
Okay, now that we got uh, all this tapered down and smooth here, now we want to go to the inside. And we want to start tackling these areas in this corners here. See where these deep cuts are? We want to start beveling this out. Now we want to go to a less aggressive bit. Now this is a diamond burr here. So it's not one of the, it's not the cutting burr, but it's a diamond burr. So we don't want, we don't want to get aggressive up here in these little corners here because we could snap something off and we don't want that to happen. All right, so we just go in here. Start taking this down here to this edge. And get up in these tight little cracks, smooth all this out. Remember, keep your blade moving. That's the key of keeping it smooth. Now we're going to go over and tackle this other side, which is a lot more intense here. So we'll get right here in this corner. Okay, now we're going to go to a smaller bit to get even tighter up in here. Okay, that's what we're looking for right here, nice and clean. Pretty good. Okay, now that we got um, everything put, uh, all the areas up in here cleaned up in here, now we want to take our, our flat diamond file 
and we want to go over these areas here and just use those use this file here to flatten out anything that that Dremble any kind of ripples that the Dremble might have caused it's best to do it with a file because it gives you a nice nice flat edge to work with and plus it you don't take any chances of also use your file here to to clean up this the edge of the shell here like so and get it good and straight also want to use the same file to come in here and clean this up in here. And just a lot of time sanding on this thing. And that's going to taper that off nice for you. Make it nice and smooth. See these little areas in here that need to be touched up against the shell that's kind of rigid. Just hit that with that file and that'll, that'll clean it right up. See, this file's got burrs here on the back, too, so I'm using that, and I'm using the flatness to, to true the shell up right here. It's a little bit out of, a little bit out of whack there, but not much. Looking pretty good. Okay, it's time to work on the shell a little bit. So we want to put the shell design in it. So we're going to start with the, usually I'll make a mark down here like so. And to center him up, right about there. I'm going to come about probably two millimeters, three millimeters. Just come around the edge of the shell like this. just like that and do the same thing on the other side once you get your um, your outline done of your shell then you want to get a center here and get a center here and now we're going to draw a line OK, 
Okay. Now, this is what's going to keep us, you know, fairly straight. We'll start off with a kind of a leisure shell there. You can just make your own kind of design.
Okay, one more thing you want to you want to make sure before you start engraving is when you put your bit in your Dremel and when you turn it on, you want to make sure it's running true. If there's, if there's a little bit of a wobble going on here, you're going to have a problem. So you'll have to loosen it up and retighten it. But yeah, just make sure there's no wobble whatsoever in these engraving tips when you turn them on. Just look for it. It'll it'll do be doing this little bit of a wobble. And uh, mainly, just, all you got to do to fix it is, like I say, just loosen it up, turn it a couple times, and retighten it up. Okay, what we're going to do now is just do the outline here. Try to get too much at one time. Just go over it lightly. You can always come back.